I was born and raised in Brooklyn. I still live here. I can't imagine living anywhere else. To me, nothing compares to the spirit, the soul, the diversity, the creativity. Brooklyn is just, you know, we used to say it's the planet and it still feels like that to me. Coming of age in New York and in Brooklyn, and particularly from a dysfunctional, financially disadvantaged family, it was tough, but it was also incredibly vibrant. Punk rock was happening, hip hop was just happening, graffiti was becoming accepted. I grew up on um, walking distance from the Brooklyn Museum. I had a great love for art and a great interest in art as a kid, and I had enough of an understanding to, to realize that the art depicted in the museum wasn't really for me. When I did finally go to the Brooklyn Museum, I just didn't see brown people on the walls. Having my art shown in venues like the Brooklyn Museum and high-end galleries feels like redemption. Um, it feels like the full circle. I am a multidisciplinary artist. I'm a self-taught musician and fine artist, a writer, a poet. Being self-taught is being open. I never knew what I couldn't do. No one ever told me the limitations, so I enter into every project with a newness, uh, with a willingness to learn. I think if I had access to art and to, to art instruction as a child, it would have made uh, the process of creation maybe a little smoother, but maybe not as fun. There's an excitement about learning something for yourself and by yourself. I paint people of color, and because of that, I'm pigeonholed as a black artist. I don't think white artists have that same stigma. I paint people that are in my environment. I paint people that I find beautiful. I don't necessarily think that I'm painting black people as a statement. It just feels natural. My experiences and my culture influence every aspect of my life. My views on spirituality and social justice come directly from where I was raised and how I was raised. There's no separation between that perspective and my work. My name is Patrick Dorr, and this is my brief but spectacular take on Brooklyn art and magic.